What I'm going to do now is we have the diffuse for our wood floors. We're also going to add a little reflection to it as well. So I'm going to go back up one level and under my reflection slot, I'm going to add the reflection mat for the same wood floor. And all it is is a black and white image that controls the reflection amount. So you can see the areas that are very dark, there won't be any reflection. In areas that are very light, there's more reflection. So let's go ahead and render that and see what that looks like. Okay, so as you can see, now we have a lot of reflection on our floors, but it's a very glossy reflection. And the problem with a very glossy reflection is in reality, you never get a perfect reflection like that. The reflection in reality is always a little more diffuse. So to control that, there's an option right here under reflection glossiness. And we can lower that amount. And for this example, I'm going to lower it to 0.85. Let's see what that does. So there, now we have a much more diffuse reflection. And if the reflection amount is too much in general, we can lower it simply by lowering the amount at the map level. So if you scroll down to maps, it's 100% using this map. But if I come down, let's say 50, I want to do that at the reflection, not the diffuse level. So if we go to 50, the reflection level, now it's going to use that map 50% mixed with black. So now it's going to be a 50% reflection from what it was before. There. So now it's less of a reflection. And it's feeling a little more realistic. Now it's not necessary to render the entire image, just enough to get out what you need to see. So similarly, we're going to take the reflection map. I'm going to right click, say copy, and I'm going to paste it in the bump slot and paste the copy. And what the bump is, is it determines the way that a material reacts to light. So you can see that these little bumps and ridges here are based off the bump map. So if I turn it off, you can see it smooths it out. If I turn it back on, you see it adds a little more ripples. Now, by default, it's way too much. So I'm going to lower the amount from 30 to 2%. And I'm going to turn off the show calculation phase for light cache so we can do a comparison between the previous and the existing. So it's very subtle, but you can see that it's adding a little bit of bump to our reflection, especially at the grooves.